Today we're going to be looking at a scenario where the entire world declares a war on North America. Um, also, by the way, like and subscribe because once the channel spawns, 50% of the profit will go to charity. That includes my main channel, Mean Control YT. Um, also, by the way, um, yeah, this is the second channel, so yeah. Go, go, go to the main channel, man. Okay, so the, the North America is going to be buffed by two times percent. Um, so this will be a little more, you know, fair and just not, you know, evil in America. So America's plan is is pretty dang simple. Their plan is to um just plumb through as much of the Red Forces as they can um, before that they get, you know, get screwed. So uh, the plan starts in South America. Um, so um, they start to take over. Per they take over Peru and also Colombia and they start their push and they take over Venezuela and they and um this little part they they start marching troops through brazil and they start to encircle the country they're then finally stopped when they when they push into argentina um and in the water that's like naval dominance and stuff so uh the united states um during this whole um charade um they're also to, to able to um acquire um a lot of naval dominance over here and and they also made a landing in Chile because of this. They then started to go in through na some naval dominance over here. I should probably make that a lighter color. I think that would look... Dang it. Just to recolor that in. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's get back to naval dominance. So like I said, they take over all of this naval dominance. They launch an invasion to Chile. And which is going to be hard because it's pretty mountainous. They continue their naval dominance push into Africa. And they take over an island. They, and they also, um, and then they finally meet around here. Um, they go around the, they go around the globe because, you know, the world is a circle. It isn't flat. And they start their push into, um, through a bunch of islands and they take over Papua New Guinea and, the, and after a devastating push, Australia. They then take over New Zealand and they push into the Philippines and also this part right here. They after having lots of Charlie in the Tree moments, they um they take they go through here and take over Southeast Asia. And there and the United States is pretty out of materials right now. So you might be thinking that was a bit much, but you know, it's I, I had to buff them so it'll be more interesting. They also start um to they also start to take naval dominance over here. And uh, they and the naval dominance is advancing to right here. So now America is kind of out of materials, and and um, Europe and um, the rest of the world sees an opportunity on what they can do right here. So um, their plan is to get is to get Cuba um to join their side, as you know Cuba and the United States while also being while also been friends recently that they, they want to um instead be on the world side because they. They don't really trust um, the rest of North America, so um, the Cuban government is um, is um, turning into the rest of the world and is going to fight against America. And God, this is hard to color in. Good enough. <laughs> this also inspire. This also inspires Nicaragua. Um, to join in on the on the war with the side of the red team, but the thing is they're kind of encircled, so it's going to be an easy takeout. So over here in America, um, they they push through and they take over Cuba. That's on the wrong freaking lip. Wow. So over here in America, in the Americas, um, on this new blank layer, they take over Cuba. They also take over Nicaragua. That's not transparent. Frick. They take over Cuba. They take over Nicaragua, and now America's. And now it's um the rest of the world's time to start pushing back. Over in here, um, it's now the red it's the red team red team turn. So they start to push back and they start taking over Vietnam and Southeast Asia. Um, the United States decides to converge um all of their troops, um, and they put a defensive line over here, right, in uh, Southeast Asia, and they also um use lots of bombing raids over Africa, and then they they decide that they're going to try to take over the rest of South America. So they converge their troops right here, um, and and with a massive push, they hit hard right here, and they are able to take out the, the rest of the continent. Like I said, U.S. is buffed, and this is completely unrealistic, and this was just a quick vid. 
So now South America's out. This this is gonna lead to some other countries deciding to join the side of of, of the America of America. Um. So over here we have um some African countries deciding to join the side of America, such as um this entire area of Africa decides to all unite into into um into the United States. And, and over um and here Corsica um Corsica breaks away from France and decides to join the United States. Don't ask. Um and over here in Switzerland, they also they also um leave the World Alliance and turn into the Amer and go with America. Chad being Chad decide um decides to just completely drop out of this war because they're just Chad like that. And just uh let's make that look cooler. There we go. So now over here, um, Corsica and Switzerland are gonna start their small little push from what they can do. Um, so over here, um, they um use what little military they have. They take over parts of Italy. Switzerland starts stabbing into Italy. takes takes out most of the northern part and starts to encircle everything around and starts to um push out, circle everything around them. But then they are halted. Um. Back in Africa, um, these countries start to take over parts of Africa, and they also start pushing up upwards. And now the world is kind of is really wondering how they actually got beaten by by, by these Americans. Japan decides South Korea and Japan decide to jo to join in on the American side. Um. So let's just uh, color that in. There we go. That looks better. Someone's driving their truck because they think that looks cool. So um, over here now we have Japan and South Korea joining in. Um, with this, Japan launches an invasion in this Russian island, um, and they start take over and they start to take over other parts of Russia. South Korea is able to completely wipe out North Korea, and with Japanese help, they take over parts of Manchuria and parts of Russia. Then encircle this part, dip down into it, and they take over the rest of this little certain part of Russia. Um, an Alaskan invasion is made with, um, let's just color this whole freaking thing in. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Um, because Russia doesn't really care about any of this territory up here, um, America and Japan just swiftly breeze through that. In all, in all my mapping videos, I'm just gonna have Russia lose this territory automatically, because, like, I do that in every video. So, yeah, Russia doesn't really care about that territory, but the rest of the world kind of does. Um, they then launch an invasion through Manchuria and take over the capital of China, with this China surrenders. Um, and that leads to a Mongolian surrender, um, which leads to a Southeast Asia surrender. And, I and that was a lot to take in, but they then t start to push in Nepal. And now other countries are starting to think about joining the American side. Um, all of Africa decides to just go screw it, unite, because I'm not drawing... This, um, so now we can have at least a somewhat competent border that was screwed up by Europe. Um, originally screwed up by Europe, um, can now actually look decent. I said decent, okay? Uh, there we go. And, uh, now Africa is, um, all united into one country, except for Chad, because they're too Chad. Um, so now, um, the world is kind of, um, and now peace deals are finally made. So let's just drag this part over, and then let's just drag the map over here. Um, so over in the map, um, let's just get rid of this. This is gonna be even messier. Um, all um all borders in Africa are erased as the country is still united. That is way too freaking big. There we go. That's better. So yeah, the borders um are struck. Um, are being cleared out as Africa just decide that they're more powerful by themselves um, together. So now um, Africa is all just kind of united. Um, and just pretend that's all united. Um, Brazil um, Brazil and some of its neighboring countries are united as well as with Argentina so now that they have Hitler to deal with. Um, they're also united with Venezuela and the, Ga and the Guyana countries. And they're also united with Colombia. Um... Cuba is heavily occupied by America. Switzerland, um, Switzerland, um, um, and Switzerland um gets all these territories. So that's a freaking big Switzerland. Um, over in Russia, um, this territory, um, this territory is split, occupied between Japan and South Korea. A new state is born out here, and and Japan gets Manchuria. Um, Australia is divided up into two, and now it's split.
So that's what would happen if, Amer if the North America went to war with every other country in the world. That was the most unreal 